Hello and what is going on today guys, Tomcat here, and today you may notice something just a little bit different about this particular video, mainly the fact that there's no face cam, and also to the fact that we are on a slightly different menu today. This is Spintar's Mudrunner on the Xbox One, which we haven't played in a while, but we've got the brand new DLC, The Ridge, and we've been playing it on PC a little bit, but I wanted to show it to you guys here on Xbox One so my console people can see what it's actually like. It's going to be a little bit different, but it's going to be pretty similar similar at the end of the day. So I'm actually going to, since I have actu actual like vehicles unlocked on the Xbox One version because I actually played the career mode, I'm going to swap out the normal UAZ for the blue UAZ because it's the same balance wise and it's more capable. And for the other slot, we're probably going to get ourselves probably, probably the new tractor. Yeah, I I'd feel pretty good about that. So we're going to go ahead and, oh, you know what? You know what? We could do it on hardcore just to be different, like since it's on console. Let's see. Can't recover. Can't skip. Uh, wait. What? Sorry. Hardcore. Let's see. No diff lock and automatic. Log stations disabled. Well, that's fine because we've got scavenge mode. Let's see. Navigation is limited to the distance and position of the next node. Let's see. Damage struggle, struggle to steer. It's ended as less power. Wheels will auto steer and force the truck to move downhill. And we're going to have to plan out what we do, but we at least have a little bit of a grasp of where we are at this point. So, yeah, screw it. Let's go. Freaking hardcore playthrough of the Ridge, man. Let's see what happens. I don't know if this is going to be a full play playthrough, but, man, okay, that's a little bit of, like, letting the graphics load in. So, regardless, so here we are with the new rig here on the Xbox One version, and I'm going to go ahead and set off for the garage because I know exactly where it is now. And that's the thing, is we do have an advantage. We do have a sizable advantage, because we know where everything is, right? We know where everything is, and, well, not necessarily everything, but we know we have a pretty good idea of where everything is, at least. It is interesting how it does look different here on the console version. It doesn't necessarily look better or worse. It just looks different. I, I don't know how to describe it. It looks like it's almost like... It's almost like the sharpness has been turned up. It's like they put the game in Photoshop and turned the sharpness up. It's weird. But, I mean, again, it's not a bad thing. It's just more of an observation and just saying, like, oh, huh, that's different. So let's go ahead and set up for this corner. You have to set up for corners in advance with this freaking thing just because the steering is so damn slow. Oh, my God, steer back the other way. Yeah, you cannot corner fast in, the, in this rig. It's just not possible, not humanly possible at all. I mean, I guess you could if you planned it out, like, a few years before the corner. But, it, that, like, even then, this is like, it's, it's kind of tricky to make it happen. Now, I will say it definitely runs better on the PC. I mean, it runs well here, but it runs better on the PC. And I'm, I, I have no, um, no problem saying that. I have no issue saying that. And I will not hold back in saying that. But, but with that being said, I mean, the console version still runs really, really well. But there's just some inconsistencies. Like, see right here? It's running, like, super, super smooth. But if I pan the camera over here... Not quite as smooth, but if I set it back here, super, super smooth again. So it's one of those things where you're kind of like, you kind of see the limitations of the hardware rather than like on a PC, you're like, I can pretty much do whatever I want. So, and that's not like to say any sort of like PC Master Race type stuff or anything like that. That's more just to illustrate how the game performs in the two different environments. Because they are different environments at the end of the day. They really are. So you have to look at it from the standpoint of what hardware you're working with. You know, with your, when you're working with a 1080 Ti, you know, 32 gigs of RAM and like a bunch of different things, you're, you're, you're going to have better performance than you are on like a standard. Now this is not a 1X, let me make that clear. This is not a 1X, this is a standard one. Now, the 1X, it does perform better on. It's 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 actually, it is noticeable. And I actually, you know what? I should probably, you know what I want to do actually? I would love to do a one versus 1X versus PC 
side-by-side -side comparison of Mud Runner for you guys. If you guys would like to see that, if that's something that you guys would like to see, um, a Mud Runner comparison with Xbox One versus Xbox One X versus PC, let me know in the comment section below because I would gladly make that comparison for you guys. I would love to do that as a comparison video and show them all side-by-side. -side. Now, let's go ahead and dive down here towards the garage since we already know 100% of where it is, and we're going to have to take this thing back and grab the other garage trailer, and that will be... That will be all garage points uh, delivered and garage unlocked. But once we do that, once we do that, we're going to have to decide what we want to do first. Now, I got to see, and let's put it in low three, like right off the bat. Like, not even going to try this in automatic. If we try this in automatic, we'll, we'll get stuck. And, well, we might not get stuck, but we'll probably bog down. And if we do it in high, it'll just bog down anyway. So, God, that thing is really screaming. It's really trying to go after it. And we'll come back and... Oh, that's different. Okay, so on the PC version, that was a K700. What? So the K700 is over here, and then that, that's a D538. So they changed those up. That's interesting. The one at that house on the PC version was a tractor. So I'm really glad I spawned the tractor in, because now we actually have it. And I was like, well, I mean, it's going to spawn on the map anyway, but I'll still spawn it in. And come to find out, it did not, and it probably spawned somewhere else, to be brutally honest. It's probably at another discovery location, but which we'll end up eventually finding. But we need to go ahead and drop this guy off here at the garage, and then spin ourselves around and head right on back to the garage. It's to the main garage, pick up the other garage trailer, bring it back here, and then we can set ourselves up a pretty good base of operations further in towards the actual play area. This thing just kind of like, it doesn't, it's not like it runs, it, do, it definitely doesn't like, it definitely doesn't like cruise, it just kind of moseys. <laughs> it just kind of moseys and it eventually gets where it's going. I'll go ahead and get turned around real quick and head back to get the other garage trailer. This, th this thing is definitely like, you know what though? You know what? Let me check the map because I know where those watch points are. I 100% know where those watch points are. So what I'm going to do actually before I do that is grab this guy right here, the blue UAZ, right? I'm going to grab the blue UAZ and we are going to go after those watch points. And I, I, I tried to engage Diflock just now and then just realized what I was doing and how I can't do that in, um, in hardcore mode. Oh, come on. Oh my god, come on. I know you can do better than that. I know you can freaking do better than that. What the heck? Off. Jeez, I didn't mean to have it on. I didn't mean to, like, I did not mean to turn it on. I genuinely did not mean to turn it on. That was, that was completely and utterly a mistake. Clearly, because it damaged the rig, but still. Put it back in auto mode. Let it go in fifth. Make a little bit of a... You know what? You know what? You know what? We need to go exploring. We need to go exploring because, I mean, we know where those watch points are. We've already done all that stuff. We've got... We delivered a trailer. Let's go ahead and go to the areas that we've never been to before. The areas that people want to see because, like... Like... I know I want to see the areas I haven't seen yet, and I and I and I'm I'm pretty sure that you guys would rather see new areas on this map than see like areas that y'all have already seen in like previous episodes. So, oh god! All right, all wheels for sure. I want to see. Oh, dude, I want to hit these islands because there's an island over here, and I think there's another island over here. Let's go down and hit this one island real quick and just see what it see what it looks like. Come on, there we go. Oh. No go fast with Diflock. Go fast with Diflock, get in trouble. <laughs> Let's just turn it off. I mean, when we hit the pavement, we may as well turn all-wheel drive off, too. Is that the island? No, I was going to say, it can't be. There's no freaking way. If that's the island, like, my god. There, turn it off. So does it... It comes on automatically! Oh my god, it comes on automatically. That's what I thought. I kept thinking I had made a mistake and turned it on, but no, it comes on automatically when you do that. Wow, when you shift into high. I didn't realize that. I genuinely didn't realize that. Realize that. Shows how much I play hardcore mode. 
Let's see if we can get... All right. So that island out there, there's that auto steer happening. It it like it was like, oh, that's a downhill. I'm gonna steer towards it. See, wow, that is that is that is genuinely intense. Like I didn't realize it was that intense with the auto steer. Let's go! Come on! Come on! Come on! Come on! And turn the diff lock off. They don't want you to have it on in like anything but mud. I don't know if this little guy can make that. Well, we're about to find out, boys. Let's do this. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. Are you making, like, movement? Yes? Yes. Beautiful. Uh-oh. Oh, no! Oh, no! Oh, no! Come on, come on, come on, come on. We're still moving, though. We are still moving. We can get this thing there. So close. Oh, my God, dude. I know we can make it work. Yes. Yes. Freaking finally. All right. So, we have found the island. And, I mean, to be fair, the island wasn't all that hard to find. But there is a, there is a scavenge point out here. And it looks like it's got lumber. That's awesome. All right. Diff lock is going to be turned back off. I'm going to put it in auto. I'm going to just run it in auto uh, all-wheel drive. Or, well, four-wheel drive. Because an all-wheel drive vehicle would be all-wheel drive all the time. So there is that. So that those are, I believe, short logs. So we've got four short logs here. And that's not a bad find. That's not a bad find at all. I love these little islands, though. These little islands are super, super cool. Like, I love the fact that we just even found one. It's like, oh, hey, here's a little island for you. You know what I mean? Like, where, you know, where else do you usually... And to be fair, to be fair, there have been maps, you know, Spin Tires maps and Mudrunner maps before with islands. But islands are just always cool. They're always cool to find. It's like a little thing that, like, people, people would probably not realize you know, why they're there or what they add to the game, but they do add something. They really do. Stay over there, stay over there, stay over there, stay over there. Oh, I can see, I can see where the dirt is, and I'm trying to stay on it. Trying. Trying very hard. Oh, so it kind of goes around. That's different. It kind of goes around and makes, like, a cut back in. Just being, like, g just moving along gingerly right now. Gingerly, carefully. I think it'd be so flooded out right now. Like, my God, man. I didn't even realize that, like, like a full row of, like, three seats in the back. That's pretty badass. The nice thing about this is that, like, with the other truck, like the big truck, dude, I'm always, like, I'm always thinking, I'm like, man, I don't know if I want to take that thing out on the beach. You know, because if it gets stuck, then it's a big, like, big deal to get it back and everything. This thing, I do not care. This thing, it doesn't matter. We'll just go, even in hardcore mode. Like, it doesn't matter, dude. Like, we'll just take it down the beach, no problem. Come on, come on, come on. There you go, there you go. Not really. Why was the diff lock not on? Maybe because it came on automatically, and then I thought I was turning it on, but yet I shut it off. I do love this little guy. I mean, I know that it's it's been a... It's... Oh, God. Man, it gripped up and it, like, took off. <laughs> I did not want to ram it into those rocks. That would have been a bad, bad situation. Turn the diff lock off. Oh, well, never mind. We need it again. <laughs> I was like, turn it off because it'll be fine. Never mind. We need it again. Every time, like, I think it's flattening out, like, it, it, it gets nutty again. There we go. We should be able to get through here easily. Oh, yeah. No problem at all. See, this thing, too, is I would, like, much rather explore the areas of the map I haven't seen yet than, like, redo the areas I already did. So, and, and plus, my PC playthrough is going to have a lot more episodes, like, with, you know, with playing through. My PC playthrough, I would consider more, like, the the playthrough where we do everything, like as the map would intend, you know what I mean? Whereas this is more like, we get to do whatever we want, even in hardcore mode. Oh, I put it in high, specifically, specifically 
because I knew that we were out of, like, the squishy stuff, and then, like, squishy stuff happened. Oh, no. No, 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 no. Are you kidding me? There we go. Like, the- Oh, and there- And there it goes. The- <laughs> And since this is hardcore mode, we can't rescue back to a garage. But we did see the island. We did see the island, and we delivered one of the trailers. Oh, what the heck? Nope. Nope. Well, wait. Can we recall? Oh, my God. Can we recall in, in freaking hardcore mode? Yo. Whoa. I didn't even realize that. That's, that's awesome, though. That's badass. I'm all about that. Now, this garage is still locked, so we can't really do too much with it, but yeah, no, that's nuts. I didn't even think that we could do that, but that will be my, like, kind of like a first episode slash introduction to the Ridge on Xbox One as opposed to PC in hardcore mode, by the way, and we will be picking this up again very soon, and, and if you guys want me to continue it on as a playthrough, like, I would be more than happy to do that. I just want to make sure that you guys want to see a playthrough of the same map as I'm playing on PC on Xbox One, but it just so happens to be in hardcore mode. But I do want to do that Xbox One X versus Xbox One versus PC comparison. So, hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, don't forget to click that like button. Tell me in the comments below what y'all thought of it. And if you're new to the channel, don't forget to subscribe for more. I'll see you guys next time. Talk to y'all later.